hey, welcome to our quick content burst on the Oregon Territory and how we came to acquire this land and why and all that fun stuff. So three big questions. One, um, why do we want Oregon? Uh, two, what types of people went to Oregon? And three, how do they get there? Because you're going to look at the daily life on these Oregon trails on the way out to the Oregon Territory. So before we do that, why Oregon, right? Just like Louisiana in the early 1800s, uh, the draw to Oregon centered around this right here, and it's a beaver fur hat. Um, in the 1830s, this beaver fur hat was wildly popular. Um, it was trapped and traded by people down here uh, known as mountain men. And you can see here, these are mountain men at what's called a rendezvous, where they are trading the fur they get. But eventually what happens, um, this beaver fur hat falls out of style. And nobody wants to buy it anymore. So the mountain men that went out west, instead of coming home, decided to start to settle uh, in this very fertile area called the Willamette River Valley. Uh, at the same time, the economy, the money in the, in the eastern part of the United States is tanking. And we have this thing called the Panic of 1837. And all these people are starting to lose money. So some people who had enough money went west. In, in, in search of a better life, they boarded these Conestoga wagons. They called them the Prairie Schooners because they kind of look like uh, they kind of look like boats. And they they journeyed some two thousand miles, leaving from Independence, Missouri, and they would work their way across the plains up here into the Oregon country, right? Riding in these Prairie Schooners. So your job over the next few days is to take a look at. What dangers and difficulties the people riding in these prairie schooners faced down along this trail? All right, and, and be, be sure to give details and specifics and let me know if you need any help. Thanks everybody.